Hello, Willow Davis. How's it going? Um, I, it was like a week and a half ago now, I ordered a guitar off of Amazon. And it, at the time I bought it, it was like $47. I bought a $50, less than $50 guitar on Amazon. That is a good video title, I guess. And it came. Um, I got, it was prime, prime shipping and all that, which usually means two days. However, global pandemic, um, they, Amazon prime shipping has moved to like a week, about a week because of whatever delays, because they are prioritizing essentials. Perfect sense, good idea. Everyone's happy and all that. But so this is supposed to come Friday. It's Monday now. It's supposed to come Friday. I ordered it on like, like last Thursday or something. Um, and it, it got, it said it was like, there's a delay on UPS. So why is he so annoying? It's not like he's going out anyway, so it doesn't matter. Sorry, I ruined your video. That's fine. I'll just leave it in. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So it's supposed to come Friday, but um, there was a delay with UPS. Okay, uh, understandable. Don't put this down, and then you could be able to put your, sure. your hand out for okay. it. Okay. Um, so there's a delay, and then so, like, okay, it's going to take another day. And then that day came, and it was like, nope. Could try for Monday. So... Monday came and here we are and uh I'm a little concerned the box is completely beat up like I don't know if you can see the part there's like a part over here where you can literally see the case of the guitar it came with a case by the way and a couple of picks um I'll tell you the brand and stuff I mean I'll post a a, a link uh, uh what's it called an affiliate link if anyone wants to buy it uh like a couple of i checked the price of it you can like check like the price over time or whatever like a week before i bought it, it was going for like 80 something and i got it for like 40 something so anyway i think i've talked enough without showing the guitar so we can take this on inside and i'll i'll open it up it's a classical guitar it's an acoustic with nylon strings let's see the next day I don't remember what I said yesterday but uh, anyway I got the got it all set up here kind of uh, it's holding a tune finally uh, I guess you know some fresh strings and the nylon is very elastic takes a while for them to like settle in hold a tune for long enough to you know play a song and so anyway I gave it a neck adjustment just a little bit ago. I was hoping that would solve one problem here that I did notice about it. On the 10th fret, there was some buzz. When you when you press it down, you know, just whatever, uh, it was hitting the fret in front of it. Uh, so I thought, okay, neck adjustment would do it. Unfortunately, it did not. When you try to play the 10th fret on the first three strings here, it just, buzzes the one the one before it fine one after it fine tenth one uh it buzzes against the eleventh reason for that i found is that tenth fret is a little too shallow unfortunately um but it doesn't affect anything over here so for your little campfire sing-alongs you could still play whatever chords you need to you know up to there <laughs> uh so not thrilled about that however this was as i keep saying a very cheap guitar so i may take it upon myself to try and do something about it at some point uh assuming these frets are just stuck in with glue in the little slots in the fretboard uh, I could theoretically heat this guy up, pry it out with something. Don't try this at home. 
uh, and see what I have to do if I have to replace it, maybe if I flip it around or something. These ones, the higher strings, fine on that fret. It's just a little too shallow on this end. You know, if that means maybe I take it out, put something to act as like a spacer in there to fill in some room and then, then have everything be flush against each other, then then that's an option. Again, it's not, it's really not an issue for me for what I wanted this guitar for, for just strumming along some chords. Uh, I'm not a guitar player either, uh, mainly bass guitar, very different, but you know, I like to dabble. This is a classical guitar, nylon string, different from a, you know, like a steel string acoustic or whatever, you know, or a typical electric. It's got the, it's, you know, the plasticky, the clear looking strings over here. Very, very elastic -y feeling, it really stretches. Another difference between this and a uh, normal acoustic you'd see is the, the fretboard, it's, it's a little wider. The neck is wider and the fretboard is flat through here. There's not like a curve to it like you'd find like that. Um, so, so the fret, the 10th fret over on the, the top end here um, was the biggest problem about this. I'll now list the other issues, I guess, in order of their significance. Uh, second biggest problem, which is not a functional problem at all yet, the, the D string uh, machine tuning machine here is very tight. You can, if I, you see, it's just, it's like, sounds like it's like sawing. This, the A1, totally smooth and fine. I was trying to figure out where the, the point of tension was in this. It's not the, it's not like the peg here. It's not the thing here. I think it has to do with the way that the holes for these parts here, where the string wrap around, wraps around, uh, are just kind of just clearly just like blown out with a drill uh, with like a bunch of rough edges and stuff. So I'm assuming that when they drilled the, the hole for this one here, it just wasn't the right size. So it's just grinding against the wood, which is another problem that I can fix if I start taking it apart. I'm fairly confident I'll be able to handle something like that. Uh, but so it's just another thing that makes this not like a good beginner guitar because it did require some setup. As I said, I adjusted the neck on it, which required taking one of those like hexagonal L looking wrench things, sticking it up here, giving it a couple of turns. I t uh, obviously t tune the strings down beforehand so that there's a little more give to them. You could separate them so you don't pop a string. So yeah, that's that. I'll just have to, you know, get in there, take this whole part apart and sand that down. If I, if I feel like it, again, not, not a problem for the actual playing of it. So that was the second most significant thing, I guess. Well, next thing some may find significant, it's just like rough everywhere, which I, you know, it was part of the lack of detail saving me money, I guess, which is why so cheap. So I realized there's like a glare on the screen kind of wiped it off. Um, but yeah, so there's little things that, that come with that, you know, it's just over here is the woods just very rough and not finished or anything. The, the, the finish, the lacquer or whatever, this laminated wood is just very rough in spots. You can see like over, I don't know if you can tell over here, like along all the edges and stuff, there's just like a lot of like splotches of where it just kind of got on everything. You know, every, every little corner, it's like, it looks good from afar. It looks good from afar, but like when, just when you get close, just rough edges and all this stuff, which again, doesn't affect the, the, the playing of it. You know, it's just, it's not the greatest thing to see. There's like cracks in the, uh, finish here over here probably from me doing the neck adjustment which shouldn't really go cracking things for me just straightening everything out uh just little cracks along with like the top of here where the frets are it looks like unless that's just no it's definitely like cracks in the finish 
again, forty-seven dollars. Okay, and so I, I, I just told all the major negatives here. The one shallow fret. I tried all the other ones. Everything else is fine. The one tuning peg that's all gritty and needs to get like sanded down over by the actual part where it's inserted and just the overall roughness of everything and cracks in the finish or whatever but i gotta say it sounds pretty good oh the strings are like came like dirty also they're probably just like not great strings but i ordered these anyway to replace if i need to some nylon core, nylon strings for classical guitar. I'll go change them if I feel the need, but these are doing fine for now. And uh, it sounds good. I gotta say, it does. Came with those a couple of picks. Now this case though, came with the case and this is not it's not a throwaway case here. It's pretty, pretty freaking decent. It's like, feels pretty good. It feels like. I'm not sure I understand. Sh what? What? Um, the 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 walls of it feel like they're like lined with some some kind of cheap foam or something for for some insulation, which is good, cool. I mean, it might get rough after a while or something, but. For now, cool. Holds the guitar snug. On the bottom, it's got a little rubber footsie thing. So if you are leaning your guitar on the hard ground or something, at least there's another added layer of protection between the ground and the bottom of your guitar. This could also, I guess, help the bottom of the case not get worn out. Pocket, which looks big enough to hold me, um, papers, sheet music, a little notebook, whatever you need. Came very, very full and robust. <laughs> Couple of picks, light picks. Kasia brand, whatever. Light. This says light on them. I'm not a huge pick fan. Um, and yes, yeah, it's got the side handle, it's got the backpack straps on it if you're really taking it somewhere with the adjustable size straps. Nice handle up here too, they did not have to include that, but a little, little, little good feature here, picking it up like that. So yeah, it's a cool, I mean, the fact that it's, it was a $47, and by the way, the price keeps changing on Amazon if you were to go look at it, it's probably something completely different. It was, as I said, it was like 80 something a couple weeks ago, I think. So as much as I, was like to, as I would like to say like, oh, this is a great like student guitar because of the features that it comes with a case, a nice pocket for whatever. It's a simple thing. The nylon strings are easy to press down and stuff. If you have a kid that wants to learn how to play classical guitar, by the way, size. Body is is a you know fairly small for an acoustic. Um, I don't know for a classical. I guess this is a normal size to see of the body. I've also seen like giant ones for a classical guitar though, so it's hard to say. I believe it's full full scale neck and everything. So like, who is this for? If you're if you're a guitar enthusiast, this is not going to be something that you add as the next part of your collection to be like hung up on the wall next to all your other guitars. It's like, it is a real beater of a guitar. This, to make a long comparison, this guitar is like my 2008 Honda Civic. It's, it's not fancy. There's nothing extra about it, but it does what it's supposed to do and it's okay if it just gets scratched up and beat up or whatever. Uh, if something goes horribly wrong, you could honestly just like buy another one or something. If you want to bring a guitar on vacation or something, but you don't want to bring a nice one and have whatever happen to it, you could just buy this, I guess. It was $47. Um, so yeah, it's not like, it's not the like, 
I'm going to play this this guitar and this guitar only every day and like record with it really or anything. But uh, you you could take this guitar, throw it in the back of your throw it in the trunk overnight or whatever, you know, who cares? Bring it out at a at a bonfire. You don't care if it gets some soot or someone spills a beer on it or something. You'll let someone else play it without being weird about it, you know? Um, and I'll, I'll record a couple of things. Uh, just try it with the microphone over there. But use your iPhone video recording sound right there. Could also make a decent cajon in an emergency jam session. Hope you enjoyed. What do you guys think about this thing? Uh, if you're interested, I'll try to put an affiliate link down in the description and I get a cut if you like buy it or anything else from that link. So check that out and I'll see you next time. Willow Davis, out.